dear Terex community, welcome to our weekly crypto news and market update video. This is what we're going to talk about today. First of all, we'll talk about that the Bitcoin price is rising as well. Bitcoin is decoupling from traditional market. We hit over to that we think in decentralized energy economy in Germany. And of course, giving crypto market update as well as analysis of Bitcoin. Now let's hit over to the news. First of all, we think that we're touching the 11.5k resistance in Bitcoin. And this is quite interesting due to we seeing an implied volatility which is going down over the last month we think that the volatility in bitcoin is going down we think that 10,500 as a support and around 11,500 to 11,700 at the resistance is very strong in this market so we think here volatility that is as low as we saw the volatility in january and february before this huge corona volatility kicking in we think that we had 60 percent max volatility in the last three months where there's a minimum of 58%. So we are right now at the bottom of the volatility and when there's a long time low volatility, the chance of an outbreak is very high. And when we're now taking a look as well on that the futures in Bitcoin are rising and that the huge institutionals are coming in with the futures again, a lot of people are bullish on Bitcoin even when the volatility is very low at the moment. Bitcoin diverges from legacy markets and breeze taking rarely predicted. What we see is that the correlation between the dollar index of the last 30 days and Bitcoin is going down. When we think here is one field is one month, we think that the last time we had a correlation was around April and May as every country produced and printed new money. But since then, Bitcoin rose while the dollar index is going down. So no correlation to the market of dollar, but a rising correlation to gold. So limited assets in a crisis seems to have a huge correlation. Both are going up and the correlation is rising. So over here, a clear point and a good view on Bitcoin and the correlation to your limited assets seems to be a safe haven in crisis times. Germany looks to blockchain to help decentralize their energy economy. What we see is that there is a huge agency in Germany, it's called Diener, and this main governmental group is responsible for all energy innovation in Germany. And now more than 20 companies working together on decentralize this economy. And the concept of microgrids, smaller decentralized energy grids to improve resiliency, energy generation, storage and distribution have been a focus for energy industry for years. So we should not be surprised that similar decentralized approaches are being explored across the entire energy market. So quite interesting. And here the German economy should be decentralized within a few years, while now a few companies are working on this. Taking a look on the seven day performance of the total market capitalization, then we can see that we started with around 360 billion US dollars. Right now we're hanging at around 359. So overall, no real movement. We saw one upward trend at the start of the week, then a downward and sideways movement, and then a positive bottoming out weekend. So all in all, no movement in the market. And this as well, we can see in the seven day performance, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all are not even moving while a few hyped coins and tokens lost a few percentages, but all in all, no movement and no volatility in the market. And this as well, we can see here in the last seven days when we're taking a look after we saw a rose in the market, we saw a sideways movement and then we built it a local high at around 11,700 and a lowest point at around 11,250. That is a max volatility of around 4%, but all in all, how you can see, there are no huge outbreaks to the top. And so, a sideways movement all over the floor. But then we can see that we touch the support levels again at the start of the weekend. And then we have a trend build it. So since then the market or no real downtrend. So here we can see that we started a positive trend over the weekend. So when we're touching 11.7 again, or even breaking this, it would be clear bullish as long as we're having a lot of MA support and the support at 11,250 below us, we should be fine as long as all the world markets are positive too. When we're losing 11,250, we should take a look on the psychology line at 11,000. And if we're losing this, we should be prepared for 
a bearish trend but all in all now the market seems bullish i hope you like this video if you do so i would love it if you could comment like or share this video and we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly crypto news and market update provided by t -Rox.